The future of our art museums will be in good hands if teachers like Kim Kleinhart of Clare High School has anything to say about it. Mrs. Kleinhart's love of the arts and teaching has evolved into a dream come true not only for her, but her students as well. In Mrs. Kleinhart's art curriculum, she incorporates a gallery management class. Today on Michigan Magazine, we find ourselves in downtown Clare at an art gallery called 515 Gallery, a fully functional and credible art gallery conceived by Mrs. Kleinhart, but managed by her students. My students actually learn to run and work a gallery. They do everything from picking out our professional artists to um, running the openings that we have for, for each of the shows that we exhibit. So this is actually a class in how to run a gallery and do the presentation and uh, bring all the art together then, eh? Absolutely. So my students not only work with professional artists, they also work with the community. Um, they go to um, meetings that the city has and we have so much support from the city of Clare. I tell you what, the support has been phenomenal looking at what you have here. How did this all come about? You know, it's not uh, every day that a class can bring about a gallery and uh, bring about the uh, experience of actually managing something. How did this all come about? Well, about three years ago, my husband and I found this cute little building in downtown Clare, and I've always wanted a gallery, so we just jumped in. We purchased the gallery and did the renovations, and then worked it into my curriculum so my students could actually take advantage of the situation also. So we just have a ball, and we've done so much networking with all the artists in the area. This is one of my students. This is Brandon Johnson. Brandon, nice to meet oh. you. And what is your medium? What do you enjoy doing in the world of art? Um, I'm very uh, street art slash mixed media. I do a lot of hands-on things. So you're learning pretty much the ins and outs of gallery, right? Yep, basically how to run the business, how to meet new people, the artists. And, uh -huh. and I think the key is you're learning is uh, there's a lot of networking that needs to go on and uh, bringing in community support, right? Yep. Yeah. So what do you think of your instructor? <laughs> She's amazing. She, um... I mean, she's done this for us. Mm -hmm. We have a fully functioning gallery that us students, we didn't have to pay into it. She's helping us all learn the trade, and she's done a lot for us. And they learn the frustrations, and they learn that there are actual artists that make a living at this. So, so uh, it's kind of putting to rest some uh, of the other side of the starving artists, there are people who are actually making it. There are. Okay. Um, actually, our artist that we have here, Justin Ladeau, was at Art Prize. He's one of the top 25 at Art Prize, and he sold his piece while he was at Art Prize and actually paid off all his student loans. Oh. So it gave my students the incentive that, hey, maybe this is doable. Mm -hmm. Doing what you love, I think it can show and uh, reap some, some handsome rewards if you just keep, keep the spirit. Absolutely. So they're seeing the real world, world aspect uh, of the art. So how large of a building do we have here? I mean, we've got uh, quite the display. It's actually 16 foot by 100 foot. Um, we've left the back about 20 feet for um, studio space so the students can come in and actually work on their work in the back while we're having our gallery open. We have wonderful turnouts for our openings. Uh, we've had everything from 150 to 260 people at our openings. So we've been thrilled at the support and response that we've had from the community. We typically change our shows about every two, two and a half months and then we bring in new artists into the gallery so that we inspire and we, um, we are educating the community and our students on the diversity of the arts. So what you see here, it's, it's ever-changing so you can see all sorts Absolutely. of medium and artists and the backgrounds of people. Uh, there are shows when artists are in attendance, is, uh, is that some of the Yes, shows? that's our opening receptions that we have okay. for each new show. We have an opening reception and the community get to um, know the artists, talk to them about their work. My students actually introduced the artist. Justin's been one of my guys who's been um, an interviewer and he actually has, has introduced several artists to the community. I definitely want to go to college for gallery management and hopefully like it's a dream to have my own gallery and feature some of my own art and friends but yeah it's definitely something I want to try doing. Yeah, it's 
a really great thing to get involved in. What an amazing opportunity for students and lovers of the arts, and what community support. If you're ever in downtown Clare, be sure and visit the 515 Gallery. It's so conveniently located next to the Traffic Stop Diner and Cops and Donuts City Bakery. And after visiting the inside of 515 Gallery, be sure and have someone take you outside into the back alley. Now this is kind of a almost a secret unless you tell these people about it unless you're going back in the back alleys here uh, this is an, a wonderful mosaic what is the story behind the story well our summer show we called mosaic of artists and we had a variety of artists plus my students and i also worked on this back wall in con in conjunction with that particular show we had in july but we had all community people drive by drop us off unique little broken pieces of glass oh, and wow. plates and we have a story behind almost every piece that's up here from um, a, a Santa Claus head up there that be <laughs> belongs to a lady her mom had passed away and she dropped it off and so she said she'd be so thrilled if if her Santa was on the wall to um, broken Polish pottery that a lady couldn't um, bear to get rid of so, oh, so. There are treasures all over, and my students and I spent seven very long days putting the piece up. So you're telling me that every little piece has a story and a history of its own then? It does, and we had so much fun because we also had community members that would stop by and want to help us too. So um, we had quite a fun week, but it was pretty grueling. It was, I think it was the hottest week in July. Really? <laughs> yeah. Inside and out. Stop by to support the arts in downtown Clare at the 515 Gallery. It's an amazing stop off the beaten path.